Hello, Mrs. Draper. My name is Aaron Levinsky. I'm a lawyer. Mr. Middleton doesn't represent you anymore. Would you like to discuss your case? Look, I don't know if you can follow this, but I have to go to court on your behalf. And tonight I have to go home to Brooklyn on the subway, which, by the way, scares the shit out of me. I'm tired, I feel a little sick, and it's been a long day. I can follow that. Ha <laughs> terrific, you can talk. Talk, dance, juggle car tricks. What kind of show do I have to put on for you? Did I say something wrong? Well, I can't stand a trial unless I put on a good show for who now? Aaron Levinsky, legal aid. It, it doesn't have anything to do no? with- No? How do I get to stand trial? It's not like that. How do I get to stand trial? That's what I want to know. It's okay, I'm her lawyer. Says who? Says the court. If you need me, give a holler. Do you think I'm gonna need him? Well, haven't you heard? I lash out and I strike people at random. I know, I was there. I think you broke his nose. So today wasn't a total loss. Well, what we've got here is a 730 process. Process whereby the patient doesn't understand the charges brought against him or her, and whereby the patient cannot assist in his or her own Are you married? Defense. What? A missus? Yes. She give good head? Look, do you want to discuss your situation here? You've been indicted for manslaughter, first degree. I know all that. Tell me why you're really here. The truth? No, Levinsky, the bullshit. I love listening to bullshit, especially when I'm drowning in it. I know why you're here. You're here to see for yourself if I'm crazy. No, no, you're here to see just how crazy I am. Two psychiatrists say you're incompetent. Morrison and Orantes, frick and frack. Orantes could barely speak English and Morrison is a really weird guy. I flashed, he didn't even look. What about you, Levinsky? You a weird guy too? I must be okay, I'm looking. Your mother says to tell you she loves you. Oh, fuck my mother, why didn't you tell me you were working with them? Look. I came here to do my job in good faith. You can cooperate, maybe it goes your way, or you can yell at me and tomorrow I move to commit, and that's the end of that. You creep lawyers are all alike. As long as you get your fee, you don't care who goes where and for how long. Hey, wait a minute. I don't take any money from you. Now, this one walks in with the worst tie that I've ever seen and tells me if I don't kiss ass, he's gonna walk out on me. Well, walk. <laughs> and be held in contempt of court? No, thank you. I'm stuck with you. We'll have to hire a shrink to take a look at you. And then you'll have to convince him you're not incompetent. Wrong. No more shrinks. I'm giving you good legal advice here. Thank you. But you know what I said about lawyers? It goes double for shrinks. They have doctors saying that you're crazy. We need at least one doctor saying you're not crazy or you got no case. Sure I do. I'm my case. I go in, I say my piece, prove that I'm competent. I'm a perfectly sane woman. I don't bother anyone who doesn't bother me first, and I don't want any more quacks running around my head asking me about my toilet training. The only thing that scares me is a stupid client, and you terrify me. Have you ever testified in court? Been cross-examined? Do you know what it's no, like? No, I don't. How long have you been hooking? Three years. And you've never been caught? Never. Now tell me I'm incompetent. Mrs. Draper does not look good to beat the shit out of one of the top lawyers in the city. It may not have looked good, but it sure felt good. And what was I supposed to do, sit there like a good little girl and listen to my own lawyer say that I'm not competent to stand trial? Are you? How competent do you have to be, for Christ's sakes? Well, let's just say for the moment that you're not entirely incompetent. Yeah, let's say that. And all of the doctors here are wrong. Let's say that too. Then why is this happening to you? Mommy loves her little girl, and Daddy loves his little girl, and Mommy loves Daddy. And everybody loves everybody. Maybe your mother and father think you need help. They think I'm an embarrassment. Besides, Arthur is not my real father. Just my stepfather. Do you want me to represent you in a compsy hearing? Are you any good? <laughs> you had good. Now you got me. I could do worse. 
Don't be too sure. If you win the hearing, you get a trial. If you lose the trial, you could go to jail for 25 years. I'll take the risk. If not, I could end up wearing this nightie until I collect Social Security. McMillan will eat me alive, but okay. Let's start at the beginning. Give me some background details. Fine. Just talk to me and pretend I'm sane, okay? Okay. And I'll do the same for you, all right? Thanks. <laughs>